Do you know your risk posture? With Crossbow, you can run and analyze adversarial campaigns in real time against your production infrastructure to validate your intrusion detection, antivirus, phishing protection, and incident response. Know your cyber exposure with Crossbow. Porn set. I just want to throw that out Three there. Three things. <laughs> is is that set. confirmed? Or is that yes. just a rumor? I've watched a, a lot. My friend has watched a lot of porn. Bob. <laughs> and told me that this was used for a porn set. Okay. Well, let me put it this way. Uh, lean a little back on the chair and you'll notice that it... Um, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> So, we think it's a porn site. Uh, anyway, at the other second, two things were more important than that, Josh. We're sharing a mic. Okay. I will hold That's it. Important. And the third thing is you get a choice. Okay. We have hacker tri famous hey, hacker hey, trivia. Hey, no. <laughs> no, honey, when it comes to you, you never get that choice. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not so sure that this isn't getting ready to be a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you have a choice I, between I, famous. I'm so good at keeping my composure through all of these interviews for the past two days. <laughs> okay, so you get to choose between famous hacker trivia, malware trivia, and the future of security. Uh, let's go with. Trivia. <laughs> he chose famous hacker trivia. Did he choose wisely? Famous hacker trivia for one hundred. Bo Woods is here with us. Welcome to the show, Bo. Where, where are you? Like, I don't want to ask where you work in case you can't say where you work. But what, what are you doing these days? Uh, so I'm uh, in Washington D.C. I work for a non-profit, non -profit, uh, nonpartisan think tank called the Atlantic Council, mm -hmm. uh, and looking at uh, issues where uh, with Josh, with Corbett. Josh Corbett. Okay, yep. I gotcha. I Josh gotcha. is my boss. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. Seriously, deeply, very, very I'm sorry. sorry. He is too. Love you, Josh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if not, he we make sure he will be. <laughs> He's gonna like storm through the door, like, "What did you say?" So a lot of the work that we're doing there is an extension of some of the things we worked on with uh, I Am the Cavalry, which is still a going thing, which is um, essentially a bunch of security researchers who got together and saw that our dependence on connected technology is growing faster than our ability to secure it, mm -hmm. um, and saw that uh, there was no one coming to solve that problem, and that if we wanted to see something done about it, uh, we had to do it ourselves. So this work makes you an expert in famous hackers trivia. Oh, absolutely. I, okay. call my, I would say I'm a thought leader in an ex, in. A, you know he works in D.C. He said that with a straight face. <laughs> yes. And I get to say cyber all day long, and no one expects me to drink. These are famous cyber hackers. Just okay. to drink! Speak famous in your language, Bo. Cyber so, Bo, number one, he infiltrated 97 U.S. military and NASA computers by installing a virus and deleting files. It, he was soon found guilty of having hacked these sites from his girlfriend's aunt's computer in London. Is it Gary McKinnon? Oh, yes. You're I'm the first so one happy. to get that. You're the Someone first one to get that. that question right. Yes. Yes. Glad I could make your day. Once upon a time, the most wanted, oh, this is number two. Once upon a time, the most wanted cyber criminal of the U.S. is now an affluent entrepreneur. Shout it out at any time. Kevin Mitnick. Yes, thank you. Um, also known as the mentor, he was a member of the uh, hacker elite groups in the 80s, most notably Legion of Doom, who battled for supremacy online against the masters of deception. However, his biggest claim to fame is that he is the author of the Hacker Manifesto. His real name is... Oh, no. <sighs> I know. All right, I'm not going to get that one. Lloyd Blankenship. Yes. And I said it right. It only took me eight time. times. Although you keep blank ship. It's like, no. <laughs> Number four, although technically a phone freak, he is seen by many as the father of modern hackery and freaking, as well as being somewhat of a legend in some people's minds. The legend began when he was informed by a friend that a toy whistle... Captain Crunch. Yes. Thank you. His, real, his name? real name? Oh, no. Nope. Uh, John Draper. Yes, John Draper. Oh, Wow. He directs the nonprofit organization 2600 and publishes a magazine called the 26... Emmanuel Goldstein. Yes. Where does What's that name come name? from? Uh, I don't know his real name. Eric Corley. From, uh... And it came from... Oh, God. 
a dystopian novel. Fictional. Fictional dystopian novel. Well, as opposed to now. Now it's <laughs> becoming more factual, but some would argue. Probably a <laughs> William Gibson neuromancer, maybe. A lot of people say that that's I awesome. Said that. Yeah. yeah. No, gonna, think older than that. Okay. Older than that. 19... Um, Maybe something 19, from, by Philip K. Dick. Ni- yeah. 19. Listen to what he's saying. 1919. 19. <laughs> What's a book with a title that starts with 19? Oh, uh, 1984. Yes. Very good. Okay. You're really smart, Bo. Thank you for that. Well, when you give me half the answer. <laughs> the creator of Pretty Good Privacy, uh, Phil Zimmerman. Well, widely known as one of the fathers of the internet. He's the co-designer of the TCP IP protocol. He was highly influential in the development of theoretical computer science, providing a formalization of concepts of algorithm yes, okay. and Alan Turing. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> I can see him saying. Well, that. I was thinking maybe Claude Shannon. No, no, no. Could have been. No, no. So, see, I'm learning so much from these. This is this so is good. awesome. This is good. You're the second person to mention Shannon. Yeah. Okay. Good. Ron Rivest, Adi Shamir, and Leonard Edelman. Name the algorithm. RSA. He is credited with a number of innovations in firewalls, including building the first internet email server for whitehouse.gov and intrusion detection. Marcus Ranum? Yes, you are correct. Hold on, I got bonus questions. Okay. A historically significant internet figure renowned for first analyzing the Morris worm, one of the earliest computer worms, and his role in the Usenet backbone. He's a member, was a member of the President's Information Technology Advisory Committee from 2003 to 2005. You're friends with him on Facebook and you follow him on Twitter. Ed Felton, maybe? You know, that's not a bad that's answer. It's not a bad, yeah, not bad. But no. Not bad. No. Um, not Howard Schmidt, either. Not Howard Schmidt. Uh, his nickname is the first part of his last name. Bob Stratton? Well, that's actually not a bad answer either. That's actually a pretty no. good guess too. Yeah. All right. You well, can partial. I, if I were a teacher, you'd have the red marker yeah, and you'd Strat, have partial Strat, credit. Stratton. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, that's not bad, but no, wrong. But similar, same first letter of the last name. Wow. With the hints are just unbelievable. Man. SP. A F. Oh, Gene Spafford. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. It's not like we had to spell it out for you. Uh, or, uh, oh, no, wait a minute. We actually <laughs> do that. <laughs> well, thank you so much. That was so much fun. Awesome. I love it. Thank you. Great. Nice thank job. You. you were the best so far. Good. <laughs>